A24 has absolutely swept over the planet like 2016 fidget spinners. Oscar nominations, you know, box office smashes. There's no better way to flex your film knowledge on a normie like whipping out a A24. Oh, you don't, you don't know A24? You probably still watch uh, Marvel movies. Uh, 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 gross, stop it. But people all of a sudden are whipping out A24 like the film bro pass without really knowing what it is. When a movie has that classic and clean A24 logo in front of it, it means either two things. One, the film is produced by the company or two, the film is distributed by them. And here my friends lies one of the biggest problems that people get confused about with A24. They don't know what uh, distribution is. For those who don't know, okay, look, a class is in session. When you make a film, right? Let's say I made, you know, The Hot Tamale. That's my film. It stars, uh, I don't know, Mark Wahlberg or someone like that. Don't ask why he's in The Hot Tamale, but he is. I can't just go, hey, uh, here you go, Regal, AMC. Here's my Google Drive, All right? The whole thing's done. Go crazy. Up, 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 uh, nope. That's not how it works. You need a distributor. A big story with this actually just came out with Dev Patel. No one wanted Monkey Man. He couldn't get Monkey Man into theaters. And then Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw production stepped in and said, Dev, don't worry, my guy, I got this. And where did we all learn about distribution from, everyone? Uh, school? No, Breaking Bad. Once Jesse and Walt make the product, they need a way to get it out to the world. Sure, you know, you can make small deals here and there. I'm talking, here's Monkey Man, I'm selling it, you know, in the parking lot of Stater Bros and stuff like that. I'm, I'm handing it out here and there. Here you go, guys. Sure, that could work, but like, financially viable? You need a Gus Fring, a Tuco to go, here you go, here's my Google Drive of uh, the hot tamale. And then they go, thank you for the Google Drive. Here you go, Regal name. See, here's, here's my Google Drive of the hot tamale. For a good majority of A24's existence, that's mainly what they did. In fact, you'd be shocked that some of your favorite A24 movies are just distributed by the company. It's not like there's the secret sauce, that the A24 sauce, that good old A24 sauce that's making all these movies so good. People act like A24 is this like conglomerate of directors, like it's freaking Prince or someone like that. No, not true at all. The Witch, Swiss Army Man, right? Lady Bird, all these films, just distributed. Am I reducing A24 to just a distributor? No. Now I don't wanna make it sound like, you know, distribution is like, just like, okay, here you go, here you go. No, they are still putting in work, they still do. However, if you start to see the common trend in the movies that A24 produces, you can kind of get the feeling that they have a certain feel, they like to distribute certain genres and aesthetics. So it makes sense there's like this through line kind of theme or feel of all. Now in recent years, A24 has stepped into the production level a whole lot more. Some of their most commercial and prevalent films being produced by the company. I know a lot of people still don't even like technically know what film producers do and I might not right but from my understanding in my brain film producers are like the nick fury of the films right let me assemble my forces let me get a director and an editor and this person a craft service donut boy let's bring them all together and the stamp of a producer on a film is very dependent on the producer again i don't work in film this is just my like speculation and understanding but if the producer is really hands off sure you might not see a direct style if we go Back to Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw, a lot of people probably thought that Jordan Peele made the new Candyman movie. He didn't. Monkey Paw produced it, but it does feel of a similar, you know, tone and aesthetic and themes of all of that to some of his films. So it makes sense why people think that. And I think that let's tackle this genre or this kind of aesthetic. I think that kind of brings in the A24 thing too. For a long time, A24 was associated with more artistic horror films. Elevated horror, right? If you want to be really cool. Solidified by the sensational work of Robert Eggers and Ari Aster. Even on Wikipedia, under styles and themes for the studio, the company is described as the company distributes and produces artistic, psychologically disturbing, and mind-bending horror films, often referred to as elevated horror. Most of these films share a similar approach, including ambiguity, bleak atmosphere, disruptive formulas, outbursts of violence, psychological dilemma, 
dilemmas and realistic, not fake, realistic character drama. Obviously, this is not even true anymore. And that's one of the things I get weirded out about. People don't even know what it's an A24 movie means. If you look at their highest grossing movies, only three of the top 10 are horror films. One of which they didn't even produce awkward i think h24 as a production company though pretty damn epic i imagine that they're a lot more hands-on and that would make for again more films that fit into that overall aesthetic of the h24 brand correct me if i'm wrong all right people are scared to be basic normies fools dummies and in a big way to avoid the stereotype is to not follow the mainstream get into some indie cinema indie films are amazing and i think that people do need to explore them more in fact i think exploring these similar you know smaller and indie niches in every form of media i'm talking movies and art and music everything like that is incredibly important in forming a good well-rounded opinion and just knowing what you like I think for a while, A24 seemed to be the easy accessible route to being indie because they were for a while, but now I think they're a little too big with their first like big budget film, Civil War coming out. There is one thing though that I give A24, a, well, I, give them, I give them a lot of credit for everything, but one thing in particular is the marketing because <laughs> hot damn, they just make the company seem cool. They have a whole merch store and it's actually pretty sick the clothes are cool they have hardcovers of the screenplays other movie related items like marcel the shell you can buy marcel the shell marketing themselves the studio there are so many other cool studios and companies that i'd love to get some merch for but hardly any of them even give you the option sure a company here and there does it but not like a24 monkey paw had some cool merch but when i went to get screenshots for this video they'd be like well look at least the other company's doing it all their merch is gone what the heck they even had like coffee for a bit monkey paw coffee and i think that's something that makes a24 cool is the fact that they're trying they're trying to be special and it's working so i made this video because i didn't like people blindly going around just being a24 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 like it's like the kiss of god on making a movie good or not a24 is really cool but i don't like people picking and choosing what they lump into the a24 umbrella i made some videos on has been hotel this year and nobody talked about that show in the mainstream but it's a24 but then again Pick any other movie, you know, this movie's about a bag of dirt who freaking wants to be a speed skater. It's an 824. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. Everyone calm down. Their time as the little indie studio that could. Sorry, guys, it's over. We had a good run. But as of this video, I'm declaring it. 824 is kind of in the mainstream, so I hate to break it to you. Again, I'm super into movies. I'm surrounded by movies, so maybe I'm like in a bubble. Maybe no one cares. Maybe no one knows at all. And that's okay. It doesn't seem to be messing with the quality of their work. And the company has even come out and said, I'm pretty sure, that they want to start doing bigger and more mainstream films. A24 meets Marvel? A24, Hereditary versus Scooby-Doo. Could be cool. Again, you should like A24, but you should know why. Don't just assume a movie is going to be good because it's made by them. Don't assume that every elevated horror or gritty film is going to be good and is made by them. People said that The Northman, oh, The Northman's A24. No, just because it's Robert Eggers and it's kind of fits into that, you know, elevated horror aesthetic. No, it's not A24. Don't just assume that embrace the change and if you don't want to be you know a normie film fan go out there and expand your taste look more into smaller films coming out go watch some foreign films some older films all that stuff and if you just really like that ari Aster, robert eggers type films ask yourself why what do you like about those films and go explore more of that in the meantime thanks for watching i make videos hit subscribe 100,000 subscribers coming soon we'll see Probably not, I'm a long time away. Damn.